Amen. So the way that I treat people. And then I, I want to go back up to verse 1 where it says, Children, obey your parents. Uh, and as we read and we study this, uh, this is uh, applicable to our, uh, to our, um, our, our, our uh, physical parents, our, our blood parents. And it's also, uh, uh, it is also applicable to our spiritual parents. You know, we have spiritual parents in the Lord. We have spiritual leadership. And I want to say thank you to the young people. Uh, I had a, a conversation with a group of young people uh, Sunday morning. And I asked them uh, uh, to honor me uh, uh, and to start uh, uh, applying uh, some certain things uh, to their life. Uh, and, and I want to say thank you for honoring uh, uh, me and for obeying. The book of Hebrews tells us to obey them that have the rule over you. Uh, amen. And, and we do this because we're in submission uh, uh, to the Lord. Uh, and I want to say thank you uh, for that. Uh, and, and folks, uh, the things that are preached and are taught across this pulpit, uh, uh, it's all from the Bible. Amen. Amen. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. And, and so uh, it, when I'm preaching or I'm teaching and I'm laying down God's Word, uh, if you're disobeying, I want you to know you're not disobeying my Word. You're disobeying God's Word. Somebody say Amen. 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 Verse 4 says, Rather bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. In our, uh, in our uh, line of leadership or in our area uh, of influence, uh, we need to make sure that we're bringing up our children. We're bringing up whether we're teaching or we're preaching or however we're leading uh, at home or at church, uh, uh, wherever we may be. We need to bring our children up with the discipline and instruction Instruction that comes from the Lord. Folks, do you know we need to be disciplined in our life? Yes, we do. Yes, we, do. we need to be disciplined. Amen. We need to uh, follow the Word of the Lord. Uh, we need to be disciplined. Uh, uh, you know, we need, when the alarm clock goes off, uh, uh, we need to get up. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Uh, does it show good discipline if you hit that snooze button two or three times? Alright, I guess I better move on. Amen. But we should be disciplined. Do you know we are disciples of Christ? Do you know disciples comes from the Word? Discipline. Okay, so if you're not disciplined, uh, amen, uh, uh, then you are not a disciple. So we need to be disciplined in every area of our life. Uh, in our prayer life. Mm -hmm. In our Bible reading. In the way we act. Yes. In our eating. Yes. Can you say amen? Amen. I, I want to tell you what. Uh, you're not much of a good example of a Christian if you don't have discipline in your eating. You know, gluttony is a sin. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Wow, I better hurry up. Y'all aren't shouting. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. As parents, uh, uh, as, as fathers, uh, we need to make sure that our instruction, and if we'll line up with God's Word, Amen. Uh, uh, guess what? Uh, everything that we teach our children, everything that we ask of our children, we don't have to worry about it. Hey, I'm in line with God's Word. I don't have to worry if my children are being taught the right or the wrong thing because I'm following the Word of God. Amen. Everything that I do as a father, as a husband, I pray, God, uh, I want You to lead me and guide me. I want to be the kind of husband and the kind of father uh, that You want me to be. And if I'm lining up with the Lord, if my wife or my children don't like it, uh, they don't have a problem with me. They've got a problem with God. Yes. Yes. And I'm not going to take it out on them. God will take care of them. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 And so I don't have to say, woman, get straight. <laughs> I'm going to shake you up. And I just say, hey, I just, hey, this is what it says. If you don't, if you don't go by it, hey, you're not going to have to get up. You're not going to have to take it up with me. You're going to have to take it up with God. 
Someone say amen. 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 And then we go into verse 5. And, and you know, I know when this was written, it was written a long time ago. And Paul was talking to slaves and masters here. But this is applicable to us in our jobs uh, when we're at work and when we're out there at school. It says, Slaves, obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them sincerely as you would serve Jesus Christ. So I want to tell my, Christ, my fellow Christian believers, believers. When you are at work, you need to follow what your boss man says. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Sometimes you're not going to like it. That's but right. the Scripture right here tells me, serve them sincerely as you would serve Jesus Christ. Right. Yes, once again, if they're telling you to do something that is contrary to the Word of God, and, and sometimes they may rub you the wrong way, and sometimes we may be done wrong. But if we'll return that wrong with good, God will always take care of us. Now let me tell our children, how would this verse be applicable to you? It would be applicable to you when you are at school. And all my uh, school kids need to be listening right now. Mm -hmm. yes. I know a lot of times you don't like what the teacher says. You don't agree with what the teacher says. And you get to thinking, I don't need this stuff. Uh, when I get older, I'll never, it'll never matter uh, about biology or all these fractions or, or this or that. And, uh, so I'm not even going to do it. Yeah. But you need to do your schoolwork as you're doing it unto the Lord. Amen. Yes. yes. Woo! That's not me. That's God's Word. That's Amen. Right. Serve them sincerely as you would serve Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. I'm not doing this work for my teacher. I'm not just doing this work for a good grade. I'm doing it for Jesus. Amen. Woo. Yeah. Man, you talk about our GPA rising. Woo. If we would start doing Amen. And then as we go through this, if you'll follow along with me, Jacob, using Ephesians 6 in the, uh, the New Living Translation. Amen. So you have to pay close attention uh, and go with me. Amen. On this. Uh, amen. Somebody say, finally. Finally. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Uh, amen. But this I want in the King James Version. Uh, uh, if you'll do that for me, uh, Brother Jacob, Ephesians chapter 6, uh, verse 10 in the King James Version. If you don't have your Bible, I encourage you, even though we do project it overhead, uh, that you bring your Bible with you every time you come to church. Amen. This uh, Bible is your uh, weapon. Amen. It's your sword. Amen. Amen. It's a weapon of offense and a weapon of defense. And you need to have this weapon with you at all times. Uh, amen. And not only be carrying it, but uh, uh, the Scripture says, I've hid thy word in my heart so that I may not sin against thee. Uh, amen. If we'll hide this word in our heart, it will give us uh, uh, the guidance and the intestinal fortitude and it will give us the know-how to, to stay right right with God. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 says, finally, my brother, everyone say finally. finally. Be strong. Everybody say be strong. Be strong. Everyone say be strong. Be strong. Amen. There we go. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Amen. amen. Everybody, uh, amen, that has uh, the Holy Ghost, uh, everybody that's a believer needs to be strong. Amen. Yes. Amen. You can operate in the power. Somebody say the power. The power. The power of the Lord. Amen. And if you are not operating in His power, Power, I want to tell you tonight, you need to get full of the Holy Ghost. You need to let the Holy Ghost get a hold of you. Amen. You need to stir that gift up that is within you. Amen. So that you have the power to walk right. The power to talk right. The power to be a witness. Somebody say amen. 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 If I've got to preach by myself, I'll do it tonight. Amen. But it'd make it a whole lot better for me if you'll preach with me. Amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise Everyone the Lord. say in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you as you are uh, seated uh, uh, tonight. As we go back to the very first part of this verse, before we get in here, I want to let you know tonight, this book of Ephesians, uh, Paul was writing from prison. Uh, he addressed uh, a, a problem that had been afflicting the Christians in the province of Asia. He was giving them some encouragement. There had been some conflict between the Jewish and the Gentile Christians. And this 
tension was threatening to split Christians into two groups, uh, uh, therefore destroying the unity of the church. We don't need groups in the church. Amen. 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 We need to be united, not just in name, Amen. Amen. but we need to be united. Amen. Uh, we need to be, uh, we need to let God lead us and guide us. Can you say amen? amen. Uh, Paul insisted that it was God's purpose, to, uh, purpose from eternity that the gospel be preached to the Gentiles uh, who were once four to God's covenants. Uh, they were now made fellow citizens with God's people uh, because it is God who has drawn those uh, two groups, the Jews uh, and the Gentiles, uh, together in Christ. Uh, Christians need to make every effort to maintain the unity of the church. We need to do all that we can to make sure that we are united. Yes! Somebody say amen. 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 So uh, if it means uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, just loving somebody that you really don't feel like loving, guess what? You need to love. Amen. Amen. If it if it means uh, you make sure you and your husband get along all the time, then you do it. Do you know if you and your husband are fighting and fussing, you can bring that spirit into the church and it cause disunity. It cause a severance. Amen. And we don't want that. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 We want to be united and we want to do. It. We need to be one body in Christ Jesus. Amen. And we got to remember that it takes everybody to make up the body. Even uh, those bodies that you don't like, uh, it takes them uh, to make up the body of Christ. Uh, and remember, you didn't choose uh, everybody. God chose them. That's right. And if God wanted them here, God's right uh, and not you. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. 